Come on, Jerry. Come on. Oh, you can't get it. I'm sorry. Here, let me put it down there. All right. All right. I just got a few crumbs. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. I'm still outside. I literally just finished doing my chores. Uncle Tiger is back. He's been chasing that pigeon from one side to another. He jumped up on the roof up there. Uncle Tiger and the pigeon flies over here. And then he climbs up the uh, railing and gets on the roof over there and chases the pigeon back over here. So Uncle Tiger is seriously trying to get to this pigeon, y'all. But in any case, y'all, we're here today to talk about chickens. Yes. And why you may not be able to get the breeds that you want. Why you won't get them, right? I'm gonna explain that. Is that a feather? Oh no, that's my hat. I'm gonna explain to you why it is that you don't get the breeds that you want, right? Now, come on. We have several breeds of chickens here on our homestead. Several. We have a rooster that is a Rhode Island red. And then some of our red stars had hatched out their little chicks that were a mix of Rhode Island red and red stars. And they end up with this weird looking color, right? And so we have some of them. Of course, we have our Buff Orpingtons. We have, gosh, Copper Morans, you know, we have Copper Connas is what I'm calling them because they are mixed between the uh, Americana and the Black Copper Morans. And so we have a beautiful, beautiful mix of chickens. We have um, Colombian Wyandots. I've always wanted some of those and I have some of those, but they're on the other side over there. And we have some New Hampshire Reds, right? We have what? What else? We have a, a, a beautiful mix of chickens here, not just one breed, right? But some of you said, well, every time I go to get chickens, they never have any. I'm gonna tell you why. Because sometimes you all, waiting to order your chicks from hatcheries is where I believe the mistake is coming in. If we're waiting till spring and summer, more than likely you won't get what it is that you're looking for okay now you all some hatcheries there are a few hatcheries that i absolutely love that i will when i need some chicks i will purchase from these hatcheries based upon their availability based upon the quantity that they may have available based upon the cost right so it's like I'm gonna shop around and compare the prices, okay? But it's only three hatcheries that I will do that with. Now, the first hatchery that I have always shopped at is Meyer Hatchery. I've been shopping and or using Meyer Hatchery for, I don't know how many years. I don't know how many years. The other hatchery is Murray McMurray Hatchery. Now I know with them, I've probably been buying chicks from them for at least 20 years, right? At least 20 years from Murray McMurray Hatchery. They are a very good hatchery. And then the third hatchery that I will use because they do have very reasonable prices, but they don't offer a big um, selection of breeds of chickens, if you will. But if they have what you want, not only are they wonderful breeds, we've used them several times in the past for our guineas as well. That's where we got our guineas from. Their prices are wonderful. You can't beat their prices. They just don't have a large selection, but you can't beat their prices, right? And that's gonna be ideal poultry, ideal poultry. So we use Meyer Hatchery, Murray McMurray Hatchery, and ideal poultry those are the three that we used and no we're not sponsored by any of these places but i'm just telling you what we have used in the past right y'all i got my hat on because i'm cold 
it's beginning to warm up just a little bit but earlier my hands were numb <laughs> coming out here gosh what are they doing oh back over there that's some loud equipment back there they may be uh doing something with their hay fields back over there but in any case you all that's all i got <laughs> but in any case those are the hatcheries that we use whenever we feel the need to order a specific breed right so and even we only have one little lavender guinea left we had a whole flock of them we had a whole flock of them and because our guineas are just they're not really enclosed our guineas they were able to just wander all over the property and go wherever they wanted to go but they would come back in the evenings and then we would feed them and then we would put them up at night but in the mornings they were not confined to a chicken run like we keep our chicks here They're, they were never confined to a run that's the last one that we have we had a total of about 12 and this is the last one we had a dog kill about five of them all at once not our dogs we had a dog to kill about five or six of them all at once right and then we had we found the remains of a couple of others way back on the property so I'm assuming that a fox or something got to them because now we're just down to one, right? And so when we get ready to order guineas again, we will be using one of those hatcheries. More than likely it's gonna be ideal poultry for our guineas because they have the best prices for the guineas and their minimum quantity requirement is not as high as some of the others, okay? So now, and even though we have like, I think you can order, I don't remember exactly, but I think you can order like a minimum of six or something like that. And depending upon when you get them, that's fine. They don't come in cold. We've never had any to come in dead. They always come in happy and healthy, you know, but we would order a multiple, multiple breeds of guineas as well. Like we had the pearl guineas, the pie, the lavender, you know, and now we're just down to that one little lavender guinea, so we'll be ordering more guineas. Mrs. H, why? Why do you all have those loud things <laughs> on your homestead? They are so loud. Well, number one, typically they are not anywhere near our house when it's time for us to rest, right? So they're not a problem because they're here. But throughout the day, yes, they're loud. And yes, we can hear them. But are they worth it for us? absolutely just simply because we used to have a really big tick problem really big tick problem here that we couldn't come outside without coming back in and there would be ticks stuck to our pants you know it was ridiculous right and over the years having the guineas here our tick problem has been reduced drastically so the, the guineas really do play a very important role when it comes to eating ticks and other unwanted pests that you may have on your homestead now. All right, now getting back to the chicks, the reason why you don't have the breeds that you may want, the reason why you can't ever seem to buy the breeds that you want, right? Because they're always what? Always sold out. No matter what, you can't find it anywhere. I remember when we were talking about our favorite breed of chicken, which is the Buff Orpington, because they are excellent meat birds once they have kind of gone past what they could do on the homestead in regard to laying eggs. But they lay an abundance of eggs, right? They are heavy producers when it comes to laying those big, beautiful, brown eggs all of our egg layers are brown egg layers right we prefer brown eggs over the white eggs we prefer brown eggs so we don't have any egg layers that lay white eggs that we eat 
our entire flock are brown, okay? Now, the Buff Orpington is also a great mama hen, okay? She's a great mama hen, you all. She loves to sit on her eggs, hatch out her babies, and she's very, very good at taking care of those little babies. She really is. Now we have some black copper morans, and typically, from what I've read, <laughs> black copper morans should not be broody, right? They shouldn't go broody. They don't typically, it's not normally their behavior. Well, we had a black copper moran that went broody and hatched out about five chicks. Not only was she broody, but she was the meanest. She is the meanest mama ever. I mean, she's mean, 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 right? She literally tried to attack us if we got too close to her little biddies, right? Hey, we understood. <laughs> Do your job in protecting your babies. We understood. So we would back off, right? <laughs> there was no, let me see the cute little chick. Uh-uh. Those feathers come up and she would come right at you and jump at you. She was not afraid to defend her little ones. So this was a copper moran. Very strange. But she's she, she goes broody and she hatched out her babies, all right? Now, we have some Colombian Wyandots here. We even have some Splash Morans here, right? What else do we have? Barred Rock, gosh. We have so many different varieties out here. We have some New Hampshire Reds here. What else? Just a lot of <laughs> different breeds of chickens. But the reason why you can't find them and why they're always sold out is because you wait too late to order them. Mm -hmm. Deciding in March or April that you want to get a new flock of chicks, that's perfectly fine. Normally places like Tractor Supply will start getting them in in spring and you can get them from maybe a local Tractor Supply or perhaps there are some breeds that they may still have available when you go online to the hatcheries to order them. But there are some breeds that if you wait till April and May to try to order them, they will not have them available for you, okay? Because they will have sold out. Yes, sold out by April, May and won't be available. They'll tell you this breed will not be available again until 2024 or 2025, right? They'll tell you. And so you may wait till 2024 to try to order that breed. But here's the thing. Here's the tip and the big secret right here. If there's a particular breed, like for example, people love the Lavington Orpington. The Lavington or Laving Lavender Orpington is a beautiful, beautiful bird. Beautiful chicken breed, right? Do I particularly want to spend $20 on one chick? No. <laughs> so I'm not interested in getting a lavender Orpington, right? But for those who want lavender Orpingtons, if you wait till April or May to order them, they may be sold out and they won't be available again until the next season. Now, the next season, you all, when is that? It's actually right now, okay? Right now is the best time to order your chicks for the 2024 season. I kid you not. So if there are breeds that you want, if there are buffs that you want, lavenders that you want, maybe some rare breeds even that you want, you know, then now is the best time. This is November. Typically in November, around the first week or so of November, that's when the hatcheries will start to release their breed availability for 2024. So what you're doing is not ordering them to get them right now. You're pre-ordering them to get them in 2024. Now, the beautiful thing about that is you can go in and you can look at the availability dates for the breed that you want. 
and you can choose when you want those breeds shipped to you. Yes, you pay for them in advance, but you do get a chance to choose what breeds you want. You may want to mix and match your flock, which is good. I love seeing the different breeds out here. Many of them have uh, uh, different temperaments. You know, some of them are very, very mild mannered, love for you to hold them and pet them. And some of them don't want to be bothered, but they may lay some beautiful eggs, right? And so you have to decide what breed of chicken you want. Do you want a breed that is quiet, right? That doesn't crow, that doesn't, you know, cackle all the time right? You may want something a little quieter if you live in a suburb or if you live in the city or an urban area. It doesn't matter. You may want to breed a little bit quieter and so you can look and see what breeds. There are several of them, several of them that you can choose from and you can make a decision and then you can go online and pre-order your chicks and they will come in according to the date that you select according to the date you select and then you will have your chicks in hand come whenever you want them march april may june whenever you want them to come in they will be ready for you at that time right so when is the best time to get your chicks right now y'all <laughs> right now is the best time to order your chickens from your hatcheries if you want them shipped to you what happens is when you place that order, they will confirm your order via email, right? They'll confirm your ship date, all of that via email, right? And so when that ship date comes, the hatchery ships your baby chicks to you and they arrive at your local post office, all right? And when they get to your post office, your post office is gonna call you bright and early in the morning. So you have to be ready. Our post office has called us as early as 6.30 in the morning before. Your chicks are here, right? They've, and they're making plenty of noise because I can hear them in the background. And so they'll call you early in the morning to let you know that your chicks have arrived. And you need to go and pick them up as soon as possible because they've been traveling. They may be a little cold and they need to get under some heat as quickly as possible. Once they sh ship your chicks, it only takes them a day or two probably two days to get to you from the time that they ship them. They're not traveling for weeks, all right? It only takes them a couple of days, three days max, for you to get your chicks in the mail, okay? And once you get them, well, you need to be ready for them, okay? You need to make sure that you have your chick brooder set up. You need to make sure you have your heating pad, heating lamp, whatever you're gonna use. You need to make sure you have that set and ready. Food and water needs to be ready to go. You need to be prepared to receive your chicks on the arrival date. And because you know when they're coming, that means you know how much time in advance you need to prepare for them, okay? And there are many different brooder styles that you can use. You all have seen, I've used a huge, I forgot how many gallons that tote is, but it's literally about this long, right? and it allowed me to put a heat plate in there so that they can go underneath and get warm and come out when they get a little too warm. So that's what we do with our chicks when they're in the brooder. They have food and water, right? And I think I've done videos where you've seen me take my brand new baby chicks out of boxes that they arrive in when they ship and put them inside of their brooders and how I would dip their beaks in the water and what I do to prepare their water for them and their feed. So, and what type of feed to feed them as well, which is gonna be a chick starter, which is about a 20% protein feed. That's what you need to give your baby chicks. Chick starter, you all, does not have calcium in it. They don't need the calcium. So you won't give them a pellet, you will give them a starter, which is all crumbles, all right? So that's what you would even feed them when they come in the mail all right so you all i think that's gonna do it i hopefully i have answered your questions why you can never get the breeds you want when you go to order them it's because you're waiting too late to order them okay you got to get on that right now this is november who 
would have thought you needed to order chicks in November for 2024. Exactly, you do. <laughs> and that's why we always get what we want when we order because we order way ahead of time. Okay, you all? So that's going to do it for this video. Mrs. H, are you ordering any chickens this year? Uh-uh. Well, if that's another video. I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> But we will definitely be getting some guineas. We are definitely getting more guineas in. And they have their own little chick house, uh, a guinea house right back here. You can't see it, but they have their own little guinea house. It's been there for a long time. And we'll be putting them in there, right? But we'll talk about guineas and how we raise our guineas. It's a process with guineas. It is a process with guineas, okay? But it's well worth it. All right. Well, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. Order your chicks right now. If you want chicks for the upcoming spring and summer months of 2024, yep, right now is the time to go ahead and order them. Okay, y'all? And if you do go over and order them, you tell them that Homestead Heart sent you. All right, y'all? So that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, please give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel and thank y'all again for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you and we're gonna see y'all in the next video Bud. i don't have any more food i don't have any more food i'll go